Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Sector. Uh, last time we just happened to find this derelict ship, a Legion class battle carrier. And not just a standard, this is the, uh, this is a 14. This is just apparently really quite rare. So, and it's really, really good. So we're going to try and haul this thing back. Now we are quite far away uh, from where we started. We are currently near a black hole. And we're going to have a little explore at the event horizon at some point. Uh, we have enough fuel to get back. We don't actually... Yeah, for a one-way trip back, we do have enough fuel going back. We'll probably stop off in a couple of systems along the way. Perhaps we can trade there. Who knows what we'll find. Could be terrible. Could be fine. I don't know. We'll see. We've got a lot to explore here. Um, we also maybe want to have a little look at some... I don't know. Some exploration, perhaps. That'd be quite good. You can see where these go over here or up there. But again, that's very far away. What do we have over here? Nakal. What is here then? System unexplored. Hmm. But yes, with a ship like this, we could potentially do some bounties, but maybe not for a little while. Anyway, I am busy just thinking in my head. Let's go ahead and take a look at this derelict ship. So, it's drifting through space, let's explore it. Now we're gonna to have to spend a story point to do this, it is totally worth doing. So, consider whether special measures might be taken to recover the ship. There it is, Legion 14. All right, Commander, looks like we might be able to pull this off, though I'll say you're not going to find what I'm going to do in any manual, and I wouldn't pass on any inspection, but then again, we're not in the hegemony fleet. It'll fly though. Take a look at the Chief Engineer's report and make a decision. So, here it is, it's got three D mods, which is not too bad, actually. It's that's fine. Uh, let's have a little look at what they are. We've got degraded shields, unreliable subsystems, and glitched sensor array. The degraded shields there, that's unfortunate, but look at the sheer amount of bounce it's got. Two large missile, five medium ballistic, eight small, four fighter bays. Just so much. It does require a stupid amount of crew, though. Minimum 700, which is just ridiculous. We're obviously not going to be able to uh, fly this right away. Yeah, look at this. It's <laughs> Let's recover it. Okay, the ISS Sisyphus is now part of your fleet. Just imagine you're pushing a, uh, a starship up a hill or something against an event horizon. Is that like Space Sisyphus? <laughs> right, anyway. Don't show this again, that's fine. Okay, your fleet doesn't have enough personnel, so... I'm gonna pause for a moment. Now, uh, we're losing supplies at a fair bit. I think we'll be okay for a little while. Uh, we are going to need to go into the fleet screen and we're gonna have to mothball this, obviously. So there we go. Now, we're at minus 23 supplies a day because currently repairs are being uh, undertaken, so... We'll maybe give it one day, and then we can always suspend all repairs. That drops it quite drastically, as you can say. As you can see, sorry. So, let's do that. Uh, we want to maybe have a little look, see if there's a research station over here. So, let's go ahead and gradually make our way there. See if we find anything on the way. Oh, there we go. Repairs have finished. Repairs have indeed finished. Right, let's actually go have a look. We need to be very careful. I might even go for a very quick save. Now, I don't know how close we can safely get here. To be honest with you. But I'm not seeing any research station for now. Don't want to spend too long doing this. Our sensors should be able to pick something up. But if there is an abandoned research station, it would be incredibly valuable. Um, no. I'm not seeing anything. Okay then. I say we jump away and try and get this baby back because our supplies are dwindling. Okay, so before we go... It'll cost 30 fuel. Let's leave here a second. We actually need to really, if anything, set a... Uh, go back onto the map. Go back onto the sector. We'll want to head back to... Oh, we do not have enough to get to Corvus now. How's that happened? Oh, my. That ain't good. We might need to just take a punt on sort of somewhere else. Hmm. Hmm. This is a bit concerning. 
All right, tell you what, we can sort of make our way up here then. Yeah, let's do it. All right, what on earth are you? You are absolutely flying. Whoa. I can barely tell what you are though. That is some weird entity. And it's kind of just swarming around me. What, what is that? What are these? There's multiple ships there. Or entities. <laughs> okay, let's take a little look. Hopefully we can find somebody to trade with. Unidentified fleet. We can kick your ass. What is it? An assault drone ship. I guess we'll just leave. It's not really hurting anyone. Tell you what, let's go take a look up here then. Okay, there was nothing there, so we're just going to have to go into another system. Alright. Um, next one up, I guess. We don't have that weird entity, do we, following us at all? <laughs> I hope not. Fuel is getting dangerously low. We just need to sell our stuff and uh, get going. Okay, here we go. Right, anything here? Looks bloody quiet if you ask me. I have a feeling we're going to need to send out a distress call. I have handled this absolutely terribly. Uh, there is nothing here. Less and less places we can get to. Alright, let's go. There's a warning beacon there. Oh, that's the... I think that might be the same warning beacon we saw before. Okay. Right, let's go. We are almost out of fuel. Please bet there be something interesting around here. Hmm, that's interesting. Jump point in there. We've got an unknown. We've got a couple of unknown entities. I think we've got some salvage there. What are you though? Hello. What's this? Stellar Shade Sight. An ultralight orbital shade array used to deflect oncoming something. Okay. Used to deflect and collect solar energy. Common terraforming tools. Oh. Okay, interesting. We can't do anything with it. I've got what I think is... I don't know if this is... Uh... I'm going to reduce my sensor range. Oh, we've just found a load of ships. That is so massive. There's a champion class heavy cruiser. We need this. We absolutely need um, to deconstruct some of these for supplies. Okay, so attempt. Oh, hello. There's a pod. A single occupied sleeper pod still running on backup power. Attempt to open the pod. We have, wow, we have a, a crewman, a lieutenant. It contains an experienced officer who joins you out of gratitude for being rescued. Very nice. Right, let's salvage the F out of everything here, please. I don't think we're still going to have enough to really do anything. We've got, you know, plenty of stuff to sell. We just <laughs> need someone to sell them to. Okay, an advanced Hyperion advanced gunship. I'm sure these are all really good, but we need the resources, don't we? There's a Hyperion. So what was it? A Hyperion class ship. Heavy cruiser there. Dram class tanker. These we can... Surely this has a lot of fuel. Minus supply cache. Hello. Ah. Okay. In the, new, in the heart of the Gamma New Conclave star system. If we can get there, we might be uh, able to get out of this. Okay. Take everything. Hermes class shuttle. Again. Salvage operation. Uh, more goodies. Lots of goodies. Tell you what, that's not too bad. And again. We're getting little bits of fuel here. And the supplies to barely keep us going. Okay, salvage this one as well. 
There's a lot more in this. We'll take it, thank you. I think we're just gonna have to just deconstruct these. Ah, oh, it's a champion class. We've already got our ship. Consider ship recovery. Not now. I hate to do this, I really do, but... We're low in a lot of resources. This is gonna save our lives. Right. Take all. We are close to the maximum there. Okay. Get salvage. Lovely. Right, that might just get us through. So. Ooh, let's take a moment to have a little look on the map, shall we? So where was this little intel? The new gamma called new gamma something, wasn't it? Interesting. Let's take a look at intel. Here we go. There's a oh, there's a bounty right here. What have you got? Hang on, we can probably take this on, right? I think we can. Cerberus class combat freighter, standard combat freighter, shielded combat freighter. We're not really in fighting shape, are we? However, we're really close to you. We could then salvage, you know, but then the amount of supplies we end up using. Hmm. I don't know. Either way, we have enough fuel to sort of make a one-way trip to Galatia, which is where we started, so we can actually get our way up, our way, make our way back home. I think we have to do that. Uh, 6.5 days, we have enough supplies. That was the main aim here. Make it home. We can do that now. And we will, of course, put our transponder on. Now that we just about have enough fuel. Whew. Very close. God, I am such a rookie at this game. Uh, we do have enough fuel, right? Because it costs 30 to jump through it, yes? Yes, we do. Okay, good. Then we can see this circle change over time. Now we just have to hope that we don't, uh... Steady. Steady. Oh, crap. We're... Oh, no. Uh, okay. Hold. We don't have enough fuel. Oh, no. No, no, no. We're gonna have to send out a distress beacon. <sighs> These bloody storms. Fleet is running low on fuel. We'll drift towards the star, the nearest star system. Okay, maybe, maybe we'll have enough inertia just to get us there. Oh, I'd love to, tr to trade with you. Right. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> very fortunate. Ooh, a little bit close to that sun now. If it's running low on supplies, you don't say. Oh, let's get out of there, please. Please. Okay, thank you. Gosh, that was <laughs> mighty close, I must say. All right, so uh, we can trade with this orbital station again. Back where we started. Right, if we can get away from the sun there, please. Whew. We have a lot of stuff to sell, and we have a lot of stuff to buy as well. Um, what are you doing? Could you... What, what am I doing, more like? Okay. I'm just happy we made it back. <laughs> uh, we'll just... Do you know what? We should really go to the black market. Or sell a bunch of things to the black market anyway. Is anything here I've got illegal? Potentially. It's very possible. I should say, actually, it would be highlighted, I think, in red, meaning they wouldn't want it, so I think we're okay. Um, stuff here, stuff like this ore. I mean, how much? Is that it? 11,000? What's this, anyway? Volatiles. Kind of like... Oh, we need to learn these as soon as possible, don't we? Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to give everything to you guys so we can have all the money. Ah, uh, let's abort this. Change of plan. I want to go trade with the pirates. Okay, we've got the mining station down here. Is it abandoned, though? No, we can still trade with them. Excellent. So, who is this? Is this an independent colony? 
Very interesting. You still take a tariff, don't you? We don't need to do that. We're just going to go ahead and black market this. Oh, yeah. Take all of this. Take all the metals. Let's empty everything here. The organics, even. Confirm. Oh, that's some good money. Okay, we need to buy a few bits as well. Uh, so I might actually pick up all the supplies you've got. Pick up all the fuel you've got as well, since we're clean out. I'll confirm that. We do want to learn some of these. That was something that was pointed out, so I might actually, before we do this, go to the open market, see what you've got there. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. There's a lot of things here we could possibly buy and sell accordingly. A lot of things we could trade if we find the right places to, to trade them. Uh, we we do need to buy like hundreds of crew, but we may not be, we, don't, we might be mothballing the ship for a while. I'm starting to think we have a lot of heavy machinery we could possibly sell. Wow, do you know what, actually? I'd like to hold on to the heavy machinery. Hmm. Let's see what's down on the dockside bar. Is there anything going on here? A flashy woman wearing a partial salvors rig, festooned with a shine with shining trophies, pushes past you to buy a round. Uh, thank the flashy dressed woman for the drink. Oh, she got us a drink. I'm celebrating. She lives. Uh, she lives a drink, grinning. Drink, drink, drink to my good fortune. Enthusiasm for this self tote is only moderate, though a crew of spacers well into their uh, shift shouts encouragement. She downs the drink with the spacers hoot. Whatever that is, and then turns back to you. You look like you know your way around a jump point, she says. No, I don't know about that. Lowering her voice once more. I know the location of a perdition wing blueprint. For the price of 10,000, you just need to hop over with your fleet. I take it myself. I have too much love for civilization. Um, interesting. I'm going to decline that for now. We may be able to uh, come back for this if she's still around. Very interesting. Right. Taking a look at the fleet here. So... What's going on? I think I want to make a few changes, some some, some minor changes. So if we actually go to the, um, you know what, actually the refit screen, we still need to spend some ordnance points. Yes, for instance, yes, the standard. Here it is. Um, I yeah, that should be fine. Just make sure it's all good and in working order. This, on the other hand. Wow, we actually can get this up and running to some extent. We just don't have the crew. It's kind of like one or the other. So we might as well just mothball it, hold on to the money for now. Uh, actually, going back to refits. What are we looking at here? I think I want to auto fit this to be balanced. I think it's just a little bit nicer that way. And um, auto fitting you. What have you got? Because currently we are in the overdriven, but I think I may just go for a classic assault. The Assault, what does it have? Two Harpoon MRMs, they're quite nice, medium range missiles, heavy blaster, ion cannon. Ion cannon could be good if we want to disable a few things, that's quite nifty. I think we will do that. Okay, there we go, I'm happy to spend a little bit of money on that. That's no problem. Okay then, ouch. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> uh, okay. Now we need to decide where we go from here, uh, actually. So let's have a look at what's going on. We're starting to see a few more things appear. We've got missions. Survey a volcanic world. That is so far away. Are you mad? We've got loads of exploration ones. Minus supply cache. That was uh, all the way down there. We found the mining station out here. We'll need to, to you know, take a little look. So... A pirate base. Do we just need to like research it essentially? Find it and detect it. We are currently there. Is there anything a bit closer? Not really. We're going to need to buy a lot more fuel then. I think it's safe to say. Let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, hello. A system bounty in Corvus. Oh, that's just the standard... You know what? That might be a good way to sort of gather a little bit of money. Okay, so I have found found this interesting contract here. This is a convoy and it's one day from departure. I'd quite like to accept this. I'm just wondering how I get there. It's from here as well, so... 
I don't know how I necessarily activate. Is it this one? There, yeah, that's it, isn't it? But the question is... Yeah, this is the convoy. They engaged in battle. What's happening here? Oh. Are these, are these both engaged in battle? Hmm. The Mercantile Convoy. Okay. You encounter a, a Persian Mercantile Convoy. And uh, if, if this fleet does not reach its destination safely, it will cause a shortage of commodities it carries. In addition, its loss would reduce the accessibility of Marath by 8% for three months. Okay, interesting. It, it assumes a neutral posture. It's aware of your identity due to your fleet's transponder being turned on. So here it is. We're probably going to have to defend it. It's got food. Let's open up the link. You've been scanned and identified. It's probably best for your, both our pe peace of mind so you keep your distance. You don't want to be escorted? The Persian League. Ah, okay. No? Okay then. Hmm. Can we take this on? Heavy standard freighter? Probably not. This is all... Even though it's just cargo, they're going to have defences. A bit, bit messed up as well, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, oh dear. Oh, there's some salvage there, though. I'll pick up the scraps. Definitely. Thank you very much. Oh, no, that was uh, resulted in five heavy machinery. Got a few bits. Not much, though. There's also something over here lying quite dormant. Vigilance class frigate. Well, I'm not going to recover this, but I will salvage it. Thank you very much. Yoink. It's rather interesting what's going on down here. Universe going on around us. Oh, a privateer. Okay, interesting. Right, anyway. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to head to Corvus, is our plan. And we're going to just take out a bunch of frigates, get into a couple of fights like that, um, earn a little bit of money. We'll also still be in hegemony space, so we'll have good trading options as well. Right, anyway, we should probably go a little bit quicker than this. Okay, we're now in the Jangala jump point. What we want to do is look for some pirates. What have we got here? You're a mercenary scout. Interesting. Now, there is a pirate station down here. I assume there'd be some frigates defending it. That's what I would anticipate. Unidentified fleet. That's quite a big fleet. It's running with its transponder off as well. Let's wait a moment. Oi. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. That ain't good. That is not good. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Let's open a comm link, first of all. You just die already. You're boring to me. Oh, God damn it. We're, we're getting into quite a nasty fight here, and we do not have... We have a, quite a few things, but we don't have our beloved ship ready, so we're going to have to move into engage. I don't think we're going to be able to get out of this. Additional XP due to overall battle difficulty. That's a, that's a marvellous sign. I will take command of the apology. I should have put an officer in place as well. Um, let's accept that. Yep, that's... Sorry, I'm just busy still getting the hang of this. Alright, I've got this. We've got a custom wayfarer. We've got this. We have got you as well and our assault. That's not bad. There's no point. We can't deploy this. Is anything else combat ready? Nope, you two are not. You are civilians. You're a freighter, but you are a combat freighter. I wonder if you've got anything worth holding on to. Broadsword Heavy Fighter Wing. Might be worth... Um, hang on. Might be worth actually using that. It, you know what? I think it is. We are going to deploy as such. That should be a bit further back, I think. Okay. There's a lot going on here. 
And I don't know where to start. They do have a lot of demods, I will say that. And I have a feeling they're not going to be the most shielded as well. So, let's take a look at what the fleet's doing here. They, they are shielded. Okay, we're actually making a really good start here. That's the officer as well. Let's see if we can't possibly do something good here. Maybe this one, actually. What are you doing right in my face? Right, we've got quite a few here on auto fire. We seem to be handling this quite nicely. We've already disabled one of them. All right, let a little bit of this dissipate, the flux. We've been doing okay. Um, I'm a little bit concerned for you. You might need to flee or at least sort of move back here. I'm going to have you come back a little bit because you're kind of out on your own there and I don't like that one bit. Oh, this looks good. Come on. What is it? What are you, what are you doing? All right, let's sort of get moving. And you're gone. That was very foolish. Doesn't appear to be down yet, actually. I thought you were. Come on. Nice. Okay. Let the flux dissipate, and we're back. A couple of them are down. We seem to be holding ourselves quite well. That's their freighter. We've got a couple over here. I think you need to sort of... Alright, let's... Have you two come back over here. We need to stay away from that rocket ship if we can. Come on. Doing okay. We're building up some flux here. Uh, we do have an energy weapon and five. But it's shorter range is the only thing. How are these guys looking? Okay, do you know what? Might be time for them to take on some of this. Our combat freighter is somehow doing quite well. Alright, we don't really seem to be doing much here. I'm gonna say let's regroup. Okay, Kraken Mudskipper Class 2 destroyed. Excellent. Another one gone. Right, how are you looking up here? You're building up a little bit too much flux. Combat readiness will be depleted soon. Alright, yes, here we go. Right, I need to watch out for my drone carrier. Okay, you need to get out of there. Come on. Yes, let's continue applying the pressure. Let's actually go for this instead, shall we? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Take him out. Take it out. Thank you. Well done, everybody. Right, we need to vent. Okay, we're good. Shields back on. Drones are doing their thing. There's not much left. Left. In fact, they're actually like the enemy fleet is defeated. We're done. We did it! Oh, come on! I mean, I get they didn't have great, uh... Great ships, but still, we came out of that nicely. Minimal damage. Harry their retreat fleet. Ooh, I'm tempted. Is it possible to? Your forces harass the enemy ships as they retreat, causing much disruption, but ultimately do not force battle. The salvage chief reports that several ships disabled or destroyed during the battle can be restored to basic functionality. I don't think we're interested in that. Pick through the wreckage. That's pretty nice. We'll take all of that, thank you. We've already got our fuel back that we spent to get here as well, pretty much. I mean, we get money for all of this, right? Come on. Huh. <laughs> Let's pursue them. Yes. Order your second in command to handle it. I think we just need... Um, I mean, there's not a lot here, right? These sort of three should handle it quite nicely. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, they got destroyed. Very nice. Pick through the wreckage. I'll take a few bits. Good. Right, we can probably salvage as well. So we'll absolutely do this. Uh, it's likely there is something there is significant risk, which is actually quite good. I'm not going to do that now. Let's just salvage everything. 99% effectiveness. The salvage rig should help with stuff like this. Uh, what's that? A Hellbore cannon. Anti-armor. A large ballistic weapon, you say. Mm, very good against armor, bad against shields. That is quite nice. I'm going to obviously take all of this. Great. So in terms of the bounty then, do I get paid automatically? That's what I'm wondering. Were there any frigates? We, well, we did destroy a few frigates, surely. So... Ah, oh, my character's grown. Gone up a level. I have a feeling, though, I... Yeah, that's it. Most recent bounty. I'm assuming this is just active, as it were. Or do I actually need to go up and, like... Do I need to show... You need to show this on the map, don't you? Was I meant to do that already? Oh, damn it. I have a feeling I was meant to go up to him and say, yeah, I'm going to go destroy some frigates. Uh, right, we've got character plus here. Something I would like that um, could keep us out of trouble is this. Uh, better sensors, so minus detection for us as well as increased sensor range for us as well. So, yeah, less likely, likely to get detected and it's easier to detect things. So it's just one of those things that could really help us out here. Oh, hello. Neutrino detector. Reconfigures the fleet drive to act as a neutrino detector. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Uh, right, so I do want to see if I need to perhaps go over here and activate it. it looks like it's just highlighting the world as opposed to um, the station around it. Oh, hello. Wonder if the transponder off is. Uh, oh dear. Well, let's allow the scan. Oh, what happened? What did I have? What's my suspicious cargo? Oh no. Prepare to have a boarding party. Oh, for goodness sake, comply and prepare for the inspection. As you'd have expected, several of your ships report minor but painful losses of operational cap capability. Ugh. Fortunately, the inspectors seem to be more interested in causing accidental damage than looking for actual contraband, so no objectionable cargo was found. Okay, we've just lost combat readiness, basically. They assume a neutral posture. Unfortunately, this has reduced our... <sighs> Our relationship with the um, hegemony, which is a bit of a shame. Very annoying, that. Alright, anyway, open the comm directory. So, the station commander, we've got a mercenary officer here. Talk to the station commander. Uh, I think I would like to be commissioned by the hegemony. This just seems like a good way to play it as a first time, so, yeah. Hmm, Fleet Intelligence has been watching you for some time, and it seems that uh, it says here that you clear all checks. Uh, perhaps I'm not quite ready for this. You would receive 35,000 a month. That's pretty nice. As well as a modest bounty for destroying enemy ships. The Hegemony is currently hostile to the Pirates, the Persian League, and the Ludic Path. Hmm. Hmm. We'll come back to that. Who else have we got here anyway? Shall we see what the quartermaster has to say? Go ahead, clear. Do you have any supplies spare? Let's see. Checking your free ID. This is actually a charity space, he says. Turning back to you. I'd only even consider your request if you held a hegemony commission. There you go. So actually, maybe there's something to this that could really save us some money. Um, I do think I want to do I think I want to do that once I get our ship up and running. Something I'd quite like to do. I think that's the last of our monthly income. Uh, yeah, I think we're I think we're done there. Right, so we got an officer, didn't we? we? Let's go over to, I guess, command, fleet. Now, what we can actually do is we can assign captains. Uh, so we've got a captain here, for instance. So let's say we perhaps want to put somebody in. I don't know, uh, this here. So what about who is this captain? And um, we're going to change their identity. I believe we can do that. Um, I just need to work out how to do that, first of all. But uh, yes, hello. Field modulation. So, minus 50% damage taken by shields. Also, minus 25% uh, flux generated by active phase cloak. Do we have? I don't think we have one of those. Uh, increased damage to cruisers and capital ships. 
Increased damage dealt by ballistic weapons. Weapons range as well is up. 100% missile... Wait, 100% missile weapon ammo capacity. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Energy weapons deal up to 30% damage at close range. Is that then the right ship for you based on what we have here? Because I did just go back to assaults. Small missiles, medium ballistics. I mean, it seems pretty good to me. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. There we go. So they're going to perform a lot better as well. And um, we saw how much they built up in flux as well. So that's really going to help us out a lot. Do want to try and get this thing going at some point. We do have quite a bit of money right now, uh, which is very nice. So there we go. As for what I do next, I'm going to just sort of have a little look on the, uh, the Intel screen here. And I'm going to sort of knock up a few ideas as to where we can go. And maybe, oh, analyze a derelict ship. This is perfect. That's exactly the sort of thing we want to do. 40,000. We've got 120 days to complete it. Yeah. The system bounty on Corvus has been good. It's, um, I think we did actually make a bit of money from that because our money has, has gone up a lot. But if I get myself, I mean, what's my map looking like on, in terms of the sector? I think it was all the way over here, wasn't it? Don't actually remember. <laughs> Let's take a look. Yeah, Kestrel, which is in... That's its own thing. 367 fuel that would cost. So we're going to need to buy a ton of fuel, to be honest. Let's uh, let's do that. And we also need a lot more supplies. So, hmm. The tariffs, man, they're ridiculous. We can buy, like, a stupid amount, though. Enough to almost get us there and back. In fact, let's allocate some... Yeah, there we go. That should get us close to there and back. I'm hoping there'll be some interesting things that, in fact, I'd rather we come out with a lot more. Uh, and as for supplies... Confirm that. We're spending it all on freaking... But, yeah. That's not too bad. I am tempted to buddy up to them after we explore this ship. Um, I've pretty much spent most of the money I'm going to get back from this. But like I say, it's all the stuff we find along the way that should hopefully help. Uh, we also have this data, survey data. We can actually sell it. Oh, so we did get some survey data from that. I mean, yeah, whoopee, I guess. We don't have any contraband. That's fine. Nice little cheeky 3,000. Not worth the supplies we spent for it, but still. Hey-ho. Uh, we've got all sorts of weapons here. Let's have a little look. Let's actually learn these. So, acquired whole mod surveying equipment. That is really good. We need that for the surveying. And then escort package mod spec. Ah, gives you some bonuses. I guess we'll go ahead and uh, learn that. And this is something I think we can put in one of our ships. A powerful and versatile manufacturing black box capable of building itself out of an industrial scale. We've looked at this before. Increased ship weapon production quality by 20%. Increases heavy indus industry production by one unit. Uh, so, yeah, this is... Sells for 40,000. Do we want to hold on to this or do we sell it? Let you guys um, give me a hand deciding that one as well. We'll go ahead and grab this just for a little bit of extra cash. As well as to clear some storage as well. Because hopefully we're going to build up a lot. And, oh, there's some marines. We can't, we don't have anywhere to house them, but, you know, they, they are there. Um, how many crew do we need? We're, we're on 410. We need at least another 700, yes. So that is 30-odd thousand wide days. Well, I'm hoping after this, this trip, we can maybe afford getting that ship up and running is kind of the plan. We gather some more resources and such. We can get that legion up and running. Okay, that's the plan. We're going to go ahead and we're going to explore. Next time, we're going to travel all the way to Kestrel here. And analyze this derelict ship. It is 17 days at base burn level. A lot of fuel, 12 light years. We went all the way down here, which was the same distance. So it's the same distance we covered earlier. Um, if we have a little look at our map our sector map here we can just about make it and then get back but of course we may end up doing the same thing when we get knocked off course so it may not be the best idea 
we may want to take some more fuel is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then next time we will continue this adventure. Uh, maybe about 100, 100. There we go. I feel much better with that. Yes, a thousand fuel should get us should get us there and back. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we're done here and I shall see you all next time.